This is a quick video to accompany the blog post about putting controls uh, for a complete control keyboard into a contact instrument. Uh, I've loaded a, a copy of complete control on the DAW and fired it up. The keyboard is saying press browse, so this is just the normal get started. You probably normally see it like this. I'm in the user view. We'll leave it like that because uh, in order to do what I want to do, we're going to load the file directly from the desktop. This is the, the instrument that I created in contact. We'll just open it up in complete control. There it is. It's a little bass thing. It's got a bug, so I gotta touch one of these controllers to get it to be it's full self. There it is. So this is a patch that I made for Cadenza. Uh, following along our brilliant instructor, Loudon. And um, I was trying to get the keyboard to follow all this. So first thing we need to do in order to do all this is view it in the edit view. And when you do that, you wind up with a screen that looks like this with no colors and the keyboard is got no colors. Uh, and uh, if we look at automation, there's no automation. So the, the two things we're going to do from within complete control is uh, add colors and add automation so that the keyboard can see it. In order to do that, being in edit view, then we go further and actually open up the patch for editing. And uh, this is the screen, the script editor. You do have to touch that. This isn't going to be too bad. Uh, this one's empty. There's another empty one. Uh, you need an empty one. Go for the, this is to do colors, so we're going to do factory, utility, set key color, and now here are the things you can do. And so we'll put some red on the keyboard. Uh, one way to do it is to learn color from MIDI. I like that because then I can just play the keyboard. And if you play a range, if you play one note, you get red. If you play a range of notes, you get a range. So that's pretty handy. Um, put some green down an octave, maybe. Um, put some yellow. Where's yellow? There's yellow. We'll put a couple of yellows up here. Ta-da! Now what you can't tell, but uh, you'll see when you're doing it yourself, is that the keyboard now reflects those and uh, honors the colors if you scroll up and down. So that's the color part. The other part that we need to do is assign uh, knobs. And in this particular patch, uh, all the knobs are in... Uh, well, no, let's assign a, a global knob. So let's say that I always wanted to put volume on the far right knob. Uh, it's just a matter of dropping that on there. You can't see it, but there's a little plus. Ta-da! There's volume that shows up on the knob. Uh, we could do tune just for fun. Again, there's a plus that you can't see, probably. And there you are. Tune and volume are on the the left or the right two knobs. Meanwhile, I want to put the, the these knobs on so that I can fiddle with my instrument a little bit. And so you get mode and time and all those things are showing up on the keyboard. Uh, simple as pie. So uh, 
Now for the next one, these are knobs that uh, control things elsewhere in the patch that don't have knobs. If you have knobs, you can just do it directly like this. If you don't have knobs, you can go through this MIDI controllers factory preset, which is again in utilities, six MIDI controllers, you drop that in. I've already done this. Um, now I just want to assign them. So let's say that I want in the second preset to also assign volume. So I'll assign volume to 15. Uh, I'll assign tuning to 14. Those show up now in the same place. And then the first three go like that. And now the, the keyboard controls all these little knobs. Ta-da! So the last thing that needs to be done is save stuff. And you have to save twice because you've made a change to the instrument when you added this um, script. So to save changes to the contact instrument, you do it there. Save edited instrument. And we'll put that in the demo folder. And since I've already done this a couple of times, practicing, here's MO for me, saw B3. Oop. That's saved. Uh, now that takes care of the instrument, but we also need to save these assignments, which were made in complete control. We have to save those as a preset in uh, complete control. So that's one of the things that took me a while to puzzle through. Uh, and I think I accidentally just saved it over my demo. Yeah, I did. So let me save it again as something new. Uh, M O saw demo B3. Save it. There is my gizmo. So now if I go through them, you can see this is the one that I did just now. This is one I did a little earlier. This is one I did yet earlier. So the instruments change with the preset. So this, this is a different instrument in contact. And this is a different instrument in contact. And this is a different instrument in contact. So two sets of saves. And then colors and knobs correspond. And off we go. So if I go into the second bank, there's my little controls doing their thing. The end.